streaming on DreamVisions7Radio.com. I'm your host, author, and video podcaster, Kat Cannabis. And uh, you can watch my shows on my Facebook professional page, Kathleen O'Keefe Cannabis. If you have a dream or nightmare to show, share online with us for interpretation, you can call now at 833-220-1200. Now back to our dream with Mimi, the dream detective. So Mimi, if this were my dream, um, I would find it very interesting that my name was called, calling me out of the danger, as it were, um, and up to a higher level of living because when she yes. looked back, she noticed all the people were dead. And these, these spirits, there were three of them, which, you know, the, the number three is a shamanic number. So here we've got this shamanic number swirling around in the air that looks to her like spirits or, or souls, beautiful souls up there. So um, I, I would think of this as people watching over me, calling me out of danger, up to a higher area of existence, um, and giving me a place of safety to start over. So obviously, I, if this were my dream, I would feel like I was being watched out for or watched over. You know, you were, you were talking about the play on words in the dream earlier, and I, I was picking up on those play on words also, stand alone. You know, you're, you, mm-hmm. you, you may be yeah. feeling like you're standing all alone and all of your inner selves are dying, but, but the truth of the matter is you're not alone. You've got higher beings watching over you and and that's the feeling i really got from this dream that it was a really good dream and you know what else yes it it really um it really triggered a dream that is in the book that dr larry burke and i um wrote together it was called silver spaceship aliens I was thinking about that one earlier. I almost asked him to share that one. That was probably one of my favorite dreams in the entire book. Yeah, I was commenting on, so basically in the dream, as you were saying, the woman dreamed that this spaceship came down and told her, you need interferon. And so she went to her doctor and said, hey, I need some interferon. But at that time, interferon was not a known thing. The common public would not have heard of it. And the doctor, because he was in the medical field, had heard of it as a brand new possible treatment for cancer. So he did everything he could to get it for her. And sure enough, it worked for her, which is the mind-blowing part, that she had never heard of it and it was a real thing. That's yeah. profound. Mm-hmm. And and she's still alive today to to talk about it. So you know there were some real similarities between the dream that was sent to me in the email and Dana Anderson's dream in the book. Um, it's almost like there were little uh, round alien uh, souls, balls, energy balls floating around in the air and called the dreamer up to a higher level where she would be safe. And in the dream in the book. Um, these aliens land in Dana's backyard and she gets out of bed and goes back to meet and greet them and they give her the answer she needs to live. So, you know, I found it interesting that there were those those similarities. Um, you know, we were yeah, going to talk about... Mm-hmm, go ahead. <laughs> oh, both, both of them could fit in X-Files Dreams episode. <laughs> That's true. Oh my goodness, that is true. So when I you would were watch on, that show. Yeah, when you were on my other show with me, we were going to uh, talk about dreams um, and our pets. And uh, a dream that I had with a pet was the night before my pet was going to pass away. I had a dream in which my spirit guides, those monks that are in the book, again, Dreams That Can Save Your Life, walked into my dream and they handed me my 26-year-old cat, Baby Cakes. 
And they said, carry him around in your dreams all night tonight because it's going to be the last night you're going to get to, to spend with him. And I thought that was really strange in my dream, but I carried baby cakes around with me all night. And the next morning, he did indeed crash and took him to the vet to see if maybe he was just having a problem and we could put him on antibiotics, and he passed away on the table. And I know that... Mm. Um, you know, dreams can come true, and, and that's why I don't believe that when our mind is dreaming, we're just having random firings of our brain, because how could our brain possibly know something like that? And I know that you had a dream about your little dog. Yeah, it's actually my parents' little dog. Um, his name is Rudy, and he's just been sleeping a lot lately, and most dogs do, but more so than normal, and they've been trying to get to the bottom of it. And I had a dream that I was watching him sleep and dream. And in my dream, the thought just came to me very literally, hair mineral. He needs a hair mineral analysis test. And this was very recently. So since then, I have been looking for a practitioner because the tests give you a report, but having a practitioner who knows how to interpret them in conjunction with an animal's symptoms, and the same goes for a human, is another story. So I've been making phone calls to various practitioners, and one of them gave me some leads. We didn't do an actual session, but just sort of a general phone call where she said, you know, she didn't know if the hair test would help him, but based on some of the symptoms I gave her, she thought these other types of tests might be useful. So that's another good example where well, honestly, time will tell as this unfolds, but sometimes it's that one clue leads to another, leads mm -hmm. to another, just like with our intuition, with our intuitive guidance. Sometimes we're guided to do one thing that doesn't really make any logical sense, but it might be the thing we need to do that leads us to the next thing, that leads us to the next thing, that brings us to the answer that we're looking for. Mm, that's so true. Uh, well, we're coming up to the last few minutes of our show, believe it or not, it just went so quickly. Um, and so, Mimi, can you tell us how we can find you and your podcast? Yes, my website is thedreamdetective.com, three words, people forget the the. And so thedreamdetective.com, there's a podcast page that has links to Stitcher, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, all of those big players. Or if you aren't familiar with those, you can just hit play. All the episodes are right there on that page on the website. And actually, one of my episodes is an interview with Kat, with you, for the listeners <laughs> who fun. love to hear you. Mm, it, was. it was. And we had such a great time. Um, and what, yeah. what do you have um, coming up? Uh, anytime soon, are you, are you going to be somewhere? Can, how can people see you? How can they find you to see you? Well, I'm mostly based in Seattle, and I kind of like it that way, but I am really putting most of my energy into the podcast right now. The focus is mind, body, spirit, and dreams. So some episodes are dedicated entirely to dreams, and others are interviews with health experts. So it's really neat because your interview that I did with you got to tie in both of those topics. And the interview that I am editing right now that's almost ready for release is with a nu nutrient expert who's a world-class scientist who's found nutrients that treat conditions from schizophrenia to all, autism to Alzheimer's. So everything that I'm fascinated with, I explore in the podcast. So hopefully people will check that out, and they can also contact me for private sessions through the website and um, find all my social media there as well. Great. Well, thank you so much for being on the show with us uh, today, Mimi, and, and for you and Dr. Larry Burke just hanging in there till I was able to, uh, to dial into the show. And I, I hope you will come on again sometime and we can have another uh, dream party. I would absolutely love that. Thank you so much for having me. It's always a, just a pleasure to talk with you. <laughs> thank you. And uh, our dream tip for the day is if you remember I was doing show dream and we did S last time which was set your intention and the O is organize yourself before you go to bed. Make sure you've got your dream journal or pad and pencil beside your bed or you can use your cell phone to record your dream as soon as you wake up and a little flashlight in order to be able to write your dream down. If your dream wakes you up, 
during the night because what it's basically saying is, you know, this is important and write me down. And the writer's tip, find somebody to be a guest writer with you. Trade blogs, trade articles, get to know each other's followers, and you'll build your platform. So until next week, I hope all of you have really sweet dreams. Remember, everybody dreams, but some dreams save lives. So until next week, good night, everybody. Thank you for joining us this evening. And a big thanks to our producer. Tune in next time to Dreaming Healing for more cutting-edge research, live dream interpretations, and stories with radio host and award-winning author, Cat O'Keefe Cannabis. Listen every Tuesday at 9 a.m. and 9 p.m. Eastern Time with call-in live shows on the first and third evenings at 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific Time on syndicated Dream Vision 7 Radio Network. Remember, everyone dreams, but some dreams save lives. Live your dreams. Find more about Cat at KathleenO'KeefeCannabis.com. That's Kathleen with a K. O-K-E-E-F-E-K-A-N-A-V-O-S or The Queen of Dreams on Google Search. This is Dream Vision 7 Radio Network, uniting mankind with universal love. Our shows are created from the heart, bringing each listener to a place of divine enlightenment. Breathe, relax, and enjoy. Let life flow.